Well, you know, Jesus said, if you speak to the mountain, right. that's what she did. She spoke to the mountain and said, you're out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Get off of his neck. That's right. I mean, it wasn't this sort of mild yeah, little prayer. Yeah. It was she authority. Was Get off of his neck. Yeah. And the cancer, obey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's power in the yeah. words that we if, speak. If you, have the, if you have the faith of a mustard yeah. seed, and, and we've yeah. got to keep that in mind, you know, so many people, when they, when they hear about great healings, think, oh, that must have been some great faith. But Jesus boiled it down, and he said, no. If you have mm -hmm. the faith of a, just a little mustard seed, mm -hmm. just a little yeah. tiny speck of yeah. faith is all you need. Mm -hmm. And do not doubt in your heart Then what you speak, yeah. you will have. Believe that you've already received, mm -hmm. you will have. Now, how do you get faith? And that's a, that's a, a question a lot of people have. And Jesus gives us the answer, and he says, if you look to me, mm -hmm. if you look to me, I'll be the author and the finisher of your faith. The author and the finisher. So if Jesus is going to start it, mm -hmm. is he going to do a good job? <laughs> and if he's going to finish it, is he going to do a good job? So don't look at you, look at him. And just ask yourself this question. Is Jesus enough? The answer is automatic, yes. And then ask, is he in you? <laughs> and then yes. And now you understand you have all the faith you need. You have a lot more than a mustard seed. And you can move that mountain in your life today. Now, we're going to pray. Terry and I are going to agree. John and Carol are going to agree. We have a great mm -hmm. studio audience from the conference with us, from the spiritual gifts class. They're going to agree. And we're going to ask God for miracles today. Yes. We're going to ask yes. believing yes. in faith, mm -hmm. in the power given to us as Christians, because we have Jesus within us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to agree with you. So don't just watch us. Join with us and let the power of God fall on you. Become a lightning rod to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth, to your own body, to the body of someone near you. If there are a couple of people watching, you're sick, have them lay hands on you. That's the transference of this authority and this power. So let's pray, let's agree, and let God do all the rest today. Pray with us. Lord Jesus, we just lift the needs of the audience yeah, to you right yeah, now. Yeah. And we just come together in a mighty unity of agreement. And together we say, kingdom come, will of God be done. And Lord, we know your will that by your stripes we were healed. You forgive all our iniquities. You heal all our diseases. And so together we say out loud to any cancer, any infirmity, any pain, any disease, now in Jesus' name, be gone. Leave these bodies now. And we speak life and health and joy unspeakable and full of glory. Uh, there's a man, you've got cancer, and it's in your lungs, and it's in, primarily in your right lung, but uh, you just heard that it's also spread, and so the operation has been canceled, and, and um, you're really, uh, you know, you're, you're at your end. And God says, I still have plans for you. And I'm healing that right lung right now. And that spot on the left lung is healed now in Jesus' name. It is being completely taken away from you. I have forgiven you all your sins. You don't have to hold on any guilt and shame from this point forward. You walk free. Now take a deep breath and realize you've been set free by the power of God. Someone else, you've had um, cancer of the esophagus, um, and it's um, a problem created by uh, acid from, from your stomach. God is just giving you a complete uh, cleansing. Yes. 
and all those cancer cells are just just going to slough off and go away mm. now in Jesus name and that acid problem is fixed from this point forward you are healed in the name of Jesus mm. Terry what's God speaking there's a, a I, I believe it's a woman and you have been you long to know that God is real and you said mm. does he even see me mm. But Tracy, God knows your name. And today, what you ask will be given to you because of his great love for you. Thank you, God. Karen? Um, someone has a, a, a very sharp um, pain on the right temple that is going in and into, right into your head and you haven't had it checked yet, and there's a fear that it's cancer. And uh, I just mm -hmm. pray right now that that pain leave you cool. now That's in the God. name of Jesus, and it will never return. And there's also a woman that has been crying out to God, saying, God, can, I'm barren. Can I please have a child? Lord, I just ask now, right now, that you would bring oh, that to pass, Lord, that's, that this couple would have a child nine months from now, Lord Jesus. We bless her womb, we bless her husband, and we call life into that family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Gordon, I want to come back to the word that you had about lung cancer. I felt like this person had mm. taken on board a message mm. of, well, it's your own fault. You've been smoking mm. for many years mm. and things like that. And I would just say, let's just forgive it's yourself yeah, right now. Give yourself a gift for those things and let the yeah. grace of God mm. come in. So what do I do? Well, just, God, yes. uh, I know you forgive me, but today I choose to forgive myself. And I accept that presence of the Holy Spirit that's coming yes. right now, washing through those lungs and blessing that person in the name of Jesus right Thank now. You. And in keeping with that, I, I feel like there are many of you who are um, thinking that somehow you have to have made the right choices, you have to have done the right thing, you have to be worthy to receive what God wants to do for you today. It comes because of His goodness and yes. His mercy and His yes. grace. Lord, we just ask that your glory would fall. Yes. And that you would fill each one with your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all the time we have. We'll see you again next week. God bless.